here is the pro-life information. This is David, and I'm going to show you something about pro-life. It will include the babies that have been murdered. Show it to you. This is what's happening in the United States of America. This is because we have a terrible president, Barack Obama. He's also disrespectful of political rights in uh, the Middle East. He's disrespectful of the political rights of some people in the Middle East, or disrespectful of the peop nations in the Middle East to form their own governments. You already know about it. Many presidents had actually shown disrespect. Us policing states trying to change countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, and let us not do that to Egypt. So let's go. Hello, Catholic voter. I ask you to join me in this campaign, this educational mission, to help create the atmosphere in which child killing by abortion becomes the number one voter issue in America. In Evangelium Vitae, the beloved Pope John Paul II said that when it comes to abortion, we are dealing with murder. He also said that to be faithful to God and to serve the gospel of life and our fellow man means that we must ensure that, and I quote, the laws of the state in no way violate the right to life, but rather protect and promote it. He said that, and again I quote, Catholics, and especially Catholic legislators, must continue to make their voices heard in political and legislative projects so that every unborn child enjoys the protection of law. This campaign is just one such political project. He also solemnly warned us, in the case of an intrinsically unjust law, such as a law that permits the killing of children, it is never lawful to obey it or to vote for it. Now, in our system of government, we usually don't vote for a law we vote for lawmakers who tell us what laws they will pass in our name and with our authority. So when we elect people, such as President Obama, who tell us ahead of time that they intend to use their authority, the authority we give them, to continue the slaughter of babies or to pay for the slaughter of babies in America or around the world, if we vote for that person, we share in the responsibility and the guilt of his actions. As Bishop Priscilla so courageously said in 2008, a Catholic cannot be said to have voted in this election with a good conscience if they have voted for a pro-abortion candidate. Barack Hussein Obama is a pro-abortion candidate. I invite you to read the material on this page regarding the Church's teachings on these matters. In the ethical hierarchy of good and evil, child killing is the gravest crime, the highest crime we commit as a nation. I'm asking you to help us make child killing the number one voter issue in our nation until all unborn babies are protected by law once again. Think of it this way. If you knew someone was running for office that wanted to use their authority to murder you. How would you want people to vote? Go and do likewise. I ask you for your support and I beg you for your prayers. God bless you. This is Bishop Rene H. Gracida reminding all Catholics that they must vote in this election with an informed conscience. A Catholic cannot be said to have voted in this election with a good conscience if they have voted for a pro-abortion candidate. Barack Hussein Obama is a pro-abortion candidate.
Hello, independent voter. Independents now make up 40% of registered voters. Congratulations. You have shown that you put principle ahead of party. You've shown that you are not a slave to party politics and that you're not just going to walk into a voting booth and vote D, 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 or R, 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 R. You've shown that content matters. You also have shown that you distrust party leaders and sometimes hold them in contempt. Well, I, like you, believe that party leaders in both parties have earned our distrust, and at times, they've earned our contempt. Here's my commitment to you. I will use this campaign to discuss the things that you and I talk about when we're with family and with friends, when we're hanging out behind closed doors or sometimes in a public place. I'm going to use the words and talk about the issues that we talk about in private right here in this campaign. I will not mince words. And this, I promise you, I will put principle ahead of party. I hope to earn your support. I invite you to come back to this website regularly. You'll see a lot of comedy. You'll see a lot of content. And above all, you will see the dedication to the principles of life, of liberty, and justice. God bless you. Catholic voters, listen closely. John Paul II told us plainly, abortion is murder. He also told us we must never formally cooperate with the evil of abortion. And he warned us that we must never promote the killing of babies by abortion with our vote. Catholic voter, did you vote for Obama in 2008? If we did, and we knew that he supported the murder of babies, then we violated church teaching. We cooperated with the evil of child killing. With our vote, we have sinned by betraying innocent blood. Now is our chance for reparation, to make things right. We must never vote for Obama again. Go to my website and click on the Catholic link to learn more. Become a part of this team to defeat Obama and make it a crime to murder babies. I'm Randall Terry, and I approve this message. In 2008, half of American Catholics voted for Obama, despite being warned by certain bishops that they could not vote for him with a clean conscience because he promoted the murder of babies. They betrayed the babies and helped Obama fund child killing in America and around the world through the criminal syndicate Planned Parenthood. In 2012, what will Catholics do? A vote for Obama is a crime against babies, a betrayal of the faith. I'm Randall Terry, and I approve this message. We're looking for more uh, videos right now. We're done.